Hello everybody. Today on Old School Building Series, we are going to be do to video touring, sorry, the Clifton Victoria Inn at the Falls Hotel in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Now, this hotel, I don't even know where to begin with its vintage charm. I mean, at the, I mean, basically nothing's really been touched in this hotel. They have taken down a lot of the cool decorations, but like the equipment, it's all the same. I mean, so this hotel, big, I have no clue what this hotel originally opened as. I think it might just be a really old Hampton Inn, but I don't know for sure. So just look at this atrium. Just look at it. Look. Look at all that old school charm. I mean, it's just, it's, it's perfectly untouched. I mean, nothing's been changed, updated. We're going to come back to the atrium later, though. We're going to ride this glass elevator here, all right? I want you to just take a look at that atrium right there. I mean, just look at it. I mean, you don't see stuff like that anymore. I mean, you don't see buildings. They don't build atriums like that anymore. I mean, and I don't, I can't think of very many that have been like remodeled or something like that. I mean, this just hasn't even hardly been remodeled. So, here we are, this is the top floor on this side. One side of the building six floors, the other side is three. So here is this, um, this, that's a new logo on it from 2014, but these, um, these exit, or not exit signs, um, alert, like, I think emergency lights, um, they have to be from when the hotel opened. I mean, they're so, they're just, I mean, they just can't be any newer from when the hotel opened. I don't know exactly what year this place opened. I'm gonna guess sometime in the early 80s, though. Probably like 79, 80, 81, um, 81 if it was something else, but if it was a Hampton Inn, it would have had to have been 83 or 84 because Hampton Inn was founded in 83, so, um, unless if this wasn't originally Hampton Inn, it couldn't, it can't be any older than 83. Um, so yeah, that was a top, that's a view of the roof of the part that's only three stories. Um, and then the atrium divides those um, two sections with a slanted ceiling or roof. The whole roof is slanted. So um, we're just gonna go down to the fifth floor. The fifth floor, for some reason, the sixth floor does not have a view of the atrium from the hallway. All the other floors do, um, including this floor. So we're gonna go see. This is the highest. Um, you can get to the atrium and set for on the elevator. Um, so there it is again. Um, I did a video tour of this place last year, but I thought I'd do a more professional one this time. So here we are. I mean, the fifth floor is pretty much exactly the same here. I like I like how they divided that one fluorescent light into like three sections. That was like, I mean, I've never seen that before. It's pretty cool. Um, and down the hallway here is the vending machine. And then this, um, these emergency lights over here, that, that's a newer set right there. I'm guessing that replaced another older one that broke. They also have all the same old exit signs. And they have, um... So yeah, you can see the carpet is all wrinkled up and bumped there as, um, I, th I think it's either Romeo or Dave, I can't remember, but they would say, this carpet, it has, it has bump lines. <laughs> okay, so there's two elevators. One of these, um, this elevator right here. Um, does not overlook the atrium. I'm surprised. I mean, I guess they're at, I guess it would be very inconvenient to just have one elevator, and I guess it's, it's a Montgomery for, um, 
those of you who are interested in elevators, including Mr. Pull Chain. Um, as you can see, yeah, I guess it would be inconvenient to have just one elevator, but I've seen some places with just one. And then, um, I guess there wasn't any way to put a second glass one, since the, there was probably barely enough room just to put that first one. And so, here's this little exit right here. I mean, this is like the... Like those those um vintage radiators too. Those have to all those those look like they were put in when they built the building too. I mean, almost all the equipment looks like it's original building, which is pretty cool. I mean, you can see just look at that brick wall. I mean, that is a straight flashback from the early '80s. It just I mean, it's basically like a time warp going into that place. I mean. It takes you right back to your childhood. It takes you right back to the early 80s. So yeah, this is the back part of the hotel there. We're going to go back in. So they have those cool mirrors there. There I am. Hello, world. <laughs> so here we are. Now we're going to take a better look at this atrium here. Um, so um, here... So um, they did used to have like this drink or popcorn carton in here. Um, so here's the pool, it's an old pond shape, which is also, you know, they don't do pond shape pools anymore. There's the old sauna and the shower too. So anyways, they used to have, um, like lots of flowers and vases in there too. And they used to have these really, like, straight from the early 80s, um, tables and chairs. Um, they got new, so here, um... Those, that bottom, um, the windows on the bottom floor, they used to have these really cool awnings over them. They took them out, which is unfortunate. Um, just in the past year, they replaced all the tables with new cheap wooden ones, but they kept the old tables for a long time. They replaced the chairs, I think, in 2007 when they, like, painted all that black and stuff and took out all, like, the cartons and the awnings and stuff like that. So they did a small upgrade in 2007, I think it was. Maybe later on in 2006, I'm not sure. Um, sometime around that time, but definitely um, not any earlier than 2000, late 2006. So here is, now we're going to go to the section. Now I'm just kind of going up the stairwell here, but this is the same stairwell we were in earlier, but towards the bottom of it. You can see to go to the other section, um, there's two stairwells at the other ends of the buildings, two on each side, in each section, but you can see it goes like, it's like a split level. It goes like right back up to, um, so. Here is, so you can see the doors really need to be oiled, and actually probably replaced here, the doors... The one in my bathroom actually wouldn't lock. So actually I decided not to show our hotel room for privacy purposes. I decided not to show our hotel room in the video. It's pretty much um, just like most older. There isn't anything like really cool or rare in there. Kind of like the hallways. I mean there's... They do have an old recessed light. They have a lot of the same furniture like... So yeah, we're gonna go, there's, um, actually a well, part of the hallway, um, overlooks the atrium here. You can see some of those doors, they just, if you open your curtain, you just get a view of the hallway. I mean, everyone can see your room. I don't know what genius thought of that. Just to give you a view of the hallway, basically. So there's one of the old fans there. They, um, don't work anymore, but that's pretty cool that they still have them up there before they put air conditioning in the hotel. Um, those fans haven't probably been on for at least 10 to 20 years or something. They haven't been used for a long time. You can see there's the atrium. You can see they have a lot of the brick from the outside being carried in, too. So yeah, now we're going to go, this is um, the other part, this is the part we were in earlier on the second floor. You can see instead of just the window being there, it just goes out to that part, you can see how it all connects. 
Okay, so here we are back on the first floor where those cool mirrors are. Um, I like that brick tile going along the floors or like the atrium. That's basically like the tile um, throughout this place. And then there's that blue carpeting. That brick is just so early 80s too. I mean, I just... Like I said, this hotel's a time warp. So, okay, so we're gonna do a more of a detailed view of what the other part looks like on the first floor here. So that's directly below from where we were earlier when we were getting a view of the third floor, and then I turned right there. We're gonna keep going, and then here, it's just basically another hallway. It's even a little bit longer, so you can see there. So that was our room right there, 116. Um, yeah, we were staying in that part right there. So yeah. You can see they still have some of the 2000s Hampton Bay room signs. I remembered those from my childhood when I was really little. So there's a sneak peek of what the kitchen looks like. Where they cook all the breakfast and stuff. The breakfast buffet is average here. I won't say it's great. So here's another raid of the atrium here. This is that little section. Now here's another really cool part of the hotel. Is the unused bar here. They used to have a bar here. As you can see. And it has a ceiling fan in there. And then um, a glass house. I mean, the glass house part is really cool. You can also see it's obviously not used anymore. But, I mean, it's just basically another... You can just basically... I mean, they have a stand-up bar there. I mean, I... You don't see stand-up bars anymore. At least not that I've seen. Um, there's the outdoor eating area. They still use it. Um, it was just... I filmed this pretty early in the morning, so... Yeah, you can see just... I mean, just look at that bar. They have the, um, the vintage, like, the fluorescent light alcohol. You can see there's the stained glass that used to light up. Alright, so I think that pretty much covers everything, guys. Um, check out the Old School Building Series playlist for more episodes. Um, and check out my ceiling fan videos on YouTube. And just comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.